Gaming here, and we're going to be back in World of Tanks again today. We're going to be redoing the artillery stream, uh, because the first one I did was before I figured out all of those uh, graphics settings to make it to where the stream runs smoothly. So, yeah, we're going to take another crack at it. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and switch to uh, the game. That, and I've also unlocked a better, well, a different... Um, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Artillery, or SPG, I guess is what they called it. Self-propelled gun. Let me bring it up on my phone to make sure y'all are getting just as smooth as I am. Yep, looks good. Awesome. Okay. So, the S. PG or the self-propelled gun, also known as the RT or artillery. Uh, they're fairly l low armored, have a really big gun, and have a really high gun, um, whatever you call that, gun elevation, so that you can shoot up and over things. Um, this is the one that I'll be using mostly today. I'll probably also step up to the grill because um, there's two different types of artillery. Uh, you have ones that reload fast, um, have really fast aiming times, and can hit really, that don't hit nearly as hard as the others, but it's more about more shots, uh, tracking the enemies, you know, uh, stunning your enemies, versus something with, like the bishop, versus something like the grill, where the grill is very slow aim time, very slow reloading, but hits hard. I mean, look at that, 400 damage uh, if you manage to penetrate. So 200 if you don't, because of the splash damage. And then you have just one tier up, uh, the Hummel uh, from Germany, which it does 680 damage if you manage to penetrate, which you're probably not going to penetrate just because you only have 39. Uh, but it's still the damage will go through and it's 102 module damage That's what you're really doing is that module damage um, like the the grill has the 102 as well and the um, Bishop actually has 115 So you're you're not gonna you're not looking for penetration. You're looking for splash damage uh, because that's what artillery basically is for um, so a few of the uh, stats that you really want to look for Oh, actually, you know what? It's probably easier if I just add these to the comparison. Uh, if I can get it to do it. Okay, add to comparison. Add to comparison. We'll go ahead and grab this Hummel as well. Add to comparison. Okay, so let's look at those key stats. Uh, the ones you're looking for, I mean, damage is always good, but it really doesn't matter. Um, the stun duration, that one is pretty uh, important. As you notice, the uh, bishop does not have a stun duration, so it's not going to stun uh, the, the enemy tanks. Whereas the Hummel, 9.5 seconds. That's 10 seconds where kind of all their stats are going to be reduced while they're stunned. They're not going to be able to move as well. They're not. The gun turret's not going to... Uh, or the, the gunner is not going to be able to move the gun turn as well. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Their aiming is speed is going to be slower. Um, the next thing you're going to look for is uh, rate of fire, uh, which is also gun loading. It's Those are kind of coincide. So this one only takes 9.4 seconds to reload. That's really fast compared to the Hummel, which is 33.98. So this one takes three more than three times longer to reload. Um, so that's where you get this, you know, 6.3 rounds per minute versus the 1.77. So you're not even firing two rounds a minute. You're only firing one, unless you have a gun rammer, then you might be able to pull that off. Uh, if it has access to it, I can't remember where you get that, which tier you get the gun rammer at. Um, but yeah, and then of course the grill is kinda in the middle. Um, gun traverse speed, this is how fast it can turn left and right. Now, on these, uh, typically you don't have a gun turret itself. You basically have a gun that can pivot left and right, you know, anywhere, you know, between 5 to 15 degrees each direction. Um, 
so you, you are kind of limited by that uh gun depression and elevation now this is a really big one um because this bishop here that i've been using it's more of like a tank kind of a cross between a tank destroyer and a true artillery so it can't arch up and over stuff quite as much but there are a few little tricks which i plan to show you uh, as we're playing the game compared to the grill look at this 72 degrees not you know not 90 degrees is straight up so 72 is a very high degree 42 meh it's somewhere in between the two so this one if you're playing on city maps and stuff like that this is what you want to go for this one can arch up and over those buildings and bring the shells down on top of them like i said there are a few tips and tricks that you can get around that but um there is that okay so and here's what i was talking about well, actually this one doesn't even have five degrees the gun traverse limit this is how far it can turn right and left uh from the direction you're facing forward so this one can only go four degrees right four degrees left five and five 15. so that covers a 30 degree arc in front of you so that's what you would think of in a standard game as a cone of fire 15 degrees is typically you know left and right is typically what you're you're thinking of whenever you do like you know fire breathing uh on a skyrim character or something like that aim time so here's one of the other big differences this bishop has a 4.84 aim time so it aims a whole lot faster compared to this uh, grill which has a 6.77 so this is basically once you actually are on target and you are not moving your reticle the reticle will slowly shrink in you know kind of like what your gun reticle does but in artillery it's so much slower and your shot can go anywhere in that area so you have a little bit of a, a margin for error just because of the splash damage you can do but you really want the faster which i'm trying to go up the soviet line soon because they have the faster firing uh, faster aiming ones um, dispersion field 100 see this is another one where it kind of this is what determines how big the spread is of your artillery when you're looking at it from the over the top view uh, let's see damage permit doesn't really matter shell speed this is kind of critical but at the same time not as long as you know how to lead your targets or you aim at s slow moving targets and can plan where they're going to hit um, but you do have to factor this in the further they are away how long it's going to take your shell to get there so the faster moving shells are better in that general purpose hit points you're not going to have much um, but like i said this one's kind of that hybrid uh, so it does have slightly better hit points but you're going to take two shots usually and, and then you're dead armor is you know nil um what else we got mobility so you're not going to be moving around that much unless it gets towards the end of the game and you know the enemies are further away and then you need to move the only times you're moving typically are going well most people is typically whenever you run out of targets or you're about to become uh you're about to come under fire so speed is really not all that big of a deal as you notice these two are a little bit faster than the bishop i plan on putting a turbo on that bishop uh, just because it is so slow uh, traverse speed so turning right and left this actually does play a big factor in uh, using artillery because since you can only turn your gun so far and you don't have a real turret you have to turn the entire uh, tank in order to aim at something on the left side of the map if you're aiming on the right side of the map so the faster you can get this the better all right, I think that's about it. Uh, camo, you're going to have decent camo uh, compared to some of the other tanks in your classes. Probably not as good as the lights, but um, you'll be up there with the tank destroyers pretty much. And the view range, you're not going to have good view range. You rely on those light and medium tanks to do the spotting for you. You're going to sit at the back of the map or in a nice little cubby hole and just fire on the enemies. So anyway... Um, I'm probably not actually going to use the bishop now that I look at the stats I understand that this is really a tank destroyer that just has the uh, artillery reticle so yeah we're gonna end up using the grill and the humble because <laughs> that's gonna demonstrate uh, that's the problem is I like hybrids so I like old stuff at some point so let's see is this one any better than what was already equipped I was basically just grinding to get to that next one I think uh, so it does more damage more penetration 
gun loading is slower. That's probably why I didn't pick it. Um, let's see, stun duration is better. Burst radius is higher. That's another one that you didn't see in that comparison. Burst radius. This is how many meters around where your shell hits that you're going to do. So that's actually a 14 meter because its radius is, you know, half the thing of the circle. So it's actually a, a circle that is a total of 14 wide. Um, dispersion is less. So you're going to aim faster and shell speed is faster. So actually, you know what? We want to go ahead and grab that bad boy. Oh, except I have to have the tracks first. Let's go ahead and grab the tracks. Let's go ahead and grab that. It's going to be spending a little bit of money here, but that's okay. And then we really do need this higher level radio. Um, just so we can communicate with the and see where all the tanks are. You want to have the highest radio possible when you're in an artillery. All right. Oh, shoot. I forgot to buy ammo. Thank you, Wargaming, for reminding me. All right, let's go back out to the garage. I mean, you only have one type of ammo, so it is what it is. Okay. Oh, wait. What type of ammo was that? That's just high explosive. I guess I just didn't have any. Uh, right now, let's see, I have the aiming speed uh, upped. You will pretty much always want that. Um, the uh, traverse speed, vehicle traverse speed is another good one to have. Gun rammer is good to have. Um, if you move a lot, the turbocharger, because um, some people move around quite a bit, a turbocharger is a good option too. But pretty much aiming speed, gun rammer, and improved rotation are the ones you're looking for. If you don't have an open top, you can go with the bents. Uh, that's another great one to have. But like 90% of them have open tops. The bishop d doesn't. And this uh, SU-26 didn't, but other than that, you're not going to have vents because it's open. They don't need vents. So that is one downfall to um, using those. Check my email. But yeah. Hold on one second. But yeah. We're waiting for that. We'll see if how many people are have joined the stream. Oh, we got two viewers today. That's really cool. Hello there, other viewers. Good to have you on. All right, this is a really good map because uh, it's fairly open. There's no buildings for them to hide behind. Um, oh, and figured out you can actually download map files that have like general locations that you can use to, um, yeah, uh, they give you a good idea of good starting spots to go to. So I'm going to go over to that one there. Uh, maybe I want to go to this one. I think I want to go to this one over here, just because um, typically a lot of tanks will come down that l left side. But as you can see, pretty much the artillery is going to sit in um, in the back of the map on both sides. The other side is actually a little bit safer, just because they have a railroad to help defend with. Let's see. It looks like right here. Okay, so tip number one. If you're using something like that bishop, for example, and you have a really low uh, gun elevation uh, amount, what you can do is come up onto a hill, and then it actually, as you can see, raises the gun up, so you can get a little bit more of an angle using that. Um, I think I need to be over a little bit further. Just so I'm not right here. Okay, look at that. We got T1 Heavy right over there. Let's spin ourselves around and see. Look, look how slow this is. That is one of the downsides. And you see the red line on our mini map? That is our range. The Bishop doesn't have nearly that much. Okay. Okay, 
right now we need to switch to normal our artillery view which is the see he's moving so I'm trying not to fire see how long that took to come in that's one of the things you got to calculate out that's why I had to kind of wait for him to stop moving but even at that the aiming time on this is so slow look at that seven seconds to aim okay so someone hit that so there's a guy over here and then you also have the option of aiming like this so you can kind of see if there's going to be something in the way or not I tend to do this and then move down um, okay so we've got a heavy down here We've just got to wait, uh, but see, he is outside our hit range. So we are pretty much committed to this side. We'll let the other guy take the other side. Okay, so we just got to wait for it to kind of focus down. Um, he's going to move, though. That's good. There we go. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Yeah, we, we had to have splashed him. Um... I don't think it shows up how much damage we do if they're not visible at the time, though. Got the MA4A1. Oh, there's a heavy. Let's see, if he doesn't move, we've almost got the shell ready and fire. Nailed him. Now, here's going to be the downside is I don't know if he is still there. If I see a tree move, especially with how long our load times are, that's going to be a downside to using this tank. I haven't seen trees or anything get knocked down, but I feel like I try to take shots at people I can actually see. If they don't kill him... Okay, they got him. See, what's nice is we've got such an angle that we can actually nail this guy. Yeah, see, we tracked him. Oh, shoot. They're getting way too close. Oh, they're not as close as I thought. I thought they were one further up. See, a good time to move is in between shots. Um... Oh, their artillery moved up. This is going to be a great opportunity to nail them if no one else gets them first. Ha! Anti-artillery artillery! How do you like them apples? I saw that they said to run because, uh, yeah, our team pretty much just got wiped out. So we're going to take up our backup position, which is up here, behind this rock. Uh, although I didn't get the new engine, so I may not be able to make it up this. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to make it up that other one. Although, I want to turn around and take a shot at that guy. Oh shoot, there's an Excelsior over here. Yeah, I'm not, I can't see him, so I need to keep moving. Okay, let's get into position and then we'll worry about shooting something. Actually, this thing crawls up this a little bit better than I expected. Yep, we've been spotted. Yep, we're dead. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. They got, they moved in too quickly. Our team got decimated. I mean, 7 to 12, it's pitiful. 
I mean, we did get a kill. We got a few shots in uh, for some damage. So that's that's good. But yeah, the matchmaking, like I, I talked about yesterday, is horrible in this game. They'll match players that have played 10 or 20 times as many games against, you know, new players like me. Um, where there'll be like five or six of those high-level players on one team and one of them on the other team. And it's it's it happens a whole lot. Like, I played 30 games yesterday, and even with my clan mates... Um, and there, there was probably at least a third of them we got steamrolled because there were players on there that were just so... Basically, they have, you know, everything unlocked. They've got, you know, troops with... Or not troops, but... Uh, well, yeah, troops, but that's not the right term. Um, crews with eight skills apiece and, you know, five crew members with eight skills apiece. So they are just so much better than... You know, with, with all the skills and everything... Their, their vehicles are so much better that we don't really stand much of a chance. My problem is I don't have the view range for a lot of the tanks that I've got. And I don't have equipment on them because I don't have the credits yet. But this definitely does favor... The, the matchmaking system does favor putting really good players all on one side or the other. I mean, same thing happened to me. When I was, all the games I won, typically we steamrolled the other team. Like, there was maybe one or two that were competitive. Alright, well, we lost due to base capture. But that's to be expected. I mean, you're going to win 40% starting off. Um, as long as we do some damage. I mean, look at that. We got four hits. Uh, T67, and we destroyed that bishop. So, you know, that's, that's always good. Uh, we did critical hits against... Uh, let's see this M10. I'm not familiar with that one. Um, so we tracked that one. We hit this guy. I I think we only hit him once, but it destroyed his track. Knocked out his track. Knocked. I guess it knocked out both tracks, and the radio operator. And then on this one, we destroyed the track. So that's pretty common. And then we stunned. That's a really big thing for us. Like that's what we're trying to go for. Um, I guess it doesn't tell us how long we stunned them for. No, just a number of stuns. Oh, total duration, 7.6, 7.5. Which, I think they can have some skills or some consumables or something like that to help speed it up. Actually, there's a piece of equipment that helps reduce stun duration. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, and then, let's see, team score. That was what I was looking for. So we were about a, a little more than halfway up, so that's not bad. Uh, 565 total damage counted, um, and then one kill. Uh, if you get a kill as a artillery, you're doing good. Uh, typically, you're not going to be doing enough damage to do that, um, unless you're you're shooting in that finishing shot as they're running away or something. So yeah, cool. Let's go for another one. Let's go ahead and check out our chats. Anybody chatting with us today? Nope, nothing. Okay. Y'all aren't feeling talkative. That's okay. I am cool with that. All right. Oh, this is another... Well, it's decent. Problem is they can get behind that ship around the uh, ABC line, and it's really hard to hit. So let's see where they suggest we go. So they're saying we need to go in these three spots back here, um, and the enemy artillery is going to be back here. Okay. See, and this will work really well for us since we have that high arc. Oh, we've got three artillery on our team, and those those are M41s, not M44s. Um, that left is going to be a problem. Those tend to be very popular, so I assume they're good. Yeah, I tend to play novelty tanks for the most part, like that bishop.
this is yeah, this is one of the spots. Okay, cool. And we had a guy that wanted to platoon up with us. Okay, there we go. Now we got a target. Let's see. Where is he at? He's up here somewhere. Uh, except I can't hit him. Because basically this is like an aircraft carrier that got frozen. So this whole area right here is sticking up really high. Okay, we've got a medium over here. And a TD. Okay, we can hit these guys once our aimed uh, comes in. Right there. We can get both of them. Got him. Okay, that's one guy down. I can't hit him. He's too much back in that. I don't think I can hit this guy. Uh, I might be able to splash him once we reload. He's done. Come on, four, three, two, one. Fire. Nailed him! Ha ha! Took him out. Okay, uh, let's see if we can hit these heavies. Uh, this guy we can if he moves up. Oh, we can nail these guys. As long as they stay spotted. I really want to hit the heavy. Two. One. Let's wait for him to move back. Got him. See, that's the one problem with this. It's so long of a reload. Except he's going to sit there. So he's about to get nailed again. Come on. Come on. Boom. Here it comes. Here it comes. Boom. Alrighty. Anytime I can kind of pin a heavy in place for our guys to take shots at them, I'm all good with that. Unless someone... Okay, requesting fire. Okay, they need fire down here. So let me go ahead. Oh, it's out of my range. I don't really feel like moving because I feel like I can bring some more punishment on this side. Ah, he's moving. Hey, this guy I can hit though. Should still be right around there. What are we getting spotted by? Is it this dude? Nice ram. Nice. Okay. Hoping I hit him. Okay, they got him. We're at seven to seven. There he is. Uh, but now he's in a spot I cannot hit him. I don't think that TP is going to be able to hit him either. Ah, shoot. That's not good. Okay, we've got our T-67 moving back to defend this. Oh, there we go. Ah, I hesitated. I, I felt like I wasn't going to hit him unless I...
feel like we need to move. Shoot. There went our Wolverine. Oh, except our guy got him. Okay, our heavy is trying to spot this dude over here, if I can get spun around. Okay, let's be in this area, so when he comes up over, we'll be able to strike. This is where I wish we had voice chat sometimes. Boo. How did he see him? Oh, nice. Got him. Well, shoot. Oh, and here comes the KV-1 on this side. That was coming. Huh. Apparently, I am the lowest scoring person on our team. Because it dropped me all the way down to the bottom of the, uh, the group. I guess because I, I haven't gotten a kill. Yeah, that's the one annoying thing. You're typically the artillery scores pretty well as long as you're getting hits. Ah, oh, nice try. Nice try. Yeah, this thing's gonna go well. Yeah, the artillery's gonna get him. See, he's trying to come around behind the dude. That's a Wolverine, so it's got a turret too. There went our other. So it's, it's literally down to him. Oh, he got ammo racked. And there he goes, yep. That was kind of a lucky shot by the artillery on a moving target, though. Uh, what can you do? See, that was a lot more competitive. 10 to 15, not much, not too bad. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great either. All right, so let me go ahead and drop off that. All right, and... Uh, Let's see. What was that first thing? Oh, we completed... I got universal fragments for the battle pass thing. Um, and then we got this. So, oh no, we actually did get two kills. We got the Wolverine and the left. We did a total of a thousand damage. That's good. Um, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 critical hits or damage to modules. Commander and Gunner, track and something. Uh, I missed the other part. Uh, tracked him twice. Uh, tracks. Typically we hit tracks on both sides. That's why we're seeing both red and that. Track again. And we did some spotting on probably the KV1 yeah, KV and the T34S. I don't remember seeing that one 
Damage upon you spotting, damage upon you destroying a track, damage caused by allies to the enemy vehicle. I guess that's the total. And then we stunned. I don't think it's going to tell us for the total. Uh, let's see, 14. Yeah, we hit that dude twice. Um, 7.31. A 7.14 and a 7.75. Awesome. And we got a bruiser. Uh, you'll get these a lot with uh, the artillery. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and step up to the Hummel. Um, and let's see what I have. Um, so we've got the... T so we have the gun. Um, might as well go ahead and upgrade that radio. Awesome. So we're working up towards this. Um, so I really haven't spent any of my points because I'm trying to get the next level up. Um, yeah, so we're at 16,900. Or, well, almost 17,000 towards 61,000. So it's going to take a while to unlock that, dude. All right. Um, let's see, 680 damage versus 540. Penetration is up. Gun loading. It's going to take longer. Yep, 31 seconds. Um Shell speed's fairly high, aiming time 6.2, so a little bit better aiming time than the last one. But we are going up to tier 6, so that will make a difference. Because I believe we can, we'll come up against tier 6, tier 7, and tier 8. Sometimes we'll, we'll get a tier 5, tier 6, um, but that is not that often. Alright, let me check to see if we've got any new viewers. Nope. Still just the two. Nobody chatting? Nope. Nothing. Nope, too bad. Alright. This is taking a little bit longer. Oh, I forgot to check the... Uh, Stream time. Uh, we're at not quite 30 minutes, so that's good. We've got a few more games. So those games actually went by pretty quick, even though they were... Well, no, that first one was really quick, just because we got destroyed. So, yeah. But yeah, I do like artillery. It's definitely a different play style. Um, if you're looking for some of the lower tiers, the uh, the M44 from the American tank uh, artillery is probably one of the top ones. It's like a, I think it's a tier five. And then the left from France, but the left is a premium vehicle. And I don't think you can normally unlock it. I wanna say it's one of those ones that comes up in the store every once in a while, like for, uh, tokens or something um, yeah other than that I, I haven't looked into all the different artilleries the the Russian ones tend to fire faster while the German ones tend to have more damage I believe okay I have not played artillery on this map um, the heavy tanks tend to go to that a1 to B2 area and duke it out. Uh, of course, the... Well, let me bring up the map. Yeah, TDs all along the rim for the most part. As you can see, the um, mediums kind of go around the rim as well. And then the two spots for... are here and here. Um, I think I'm going to go over back this direction because this will be a great spot to hit those heavy tanks at. Although I don't have as high a gun angle. So that may be a slight problem. But that M44 is moving up quite a bit. Oh, and see this M44 is going to the spot I had planned on going to. Okay, so if he's going there, um, then I'll go over here. Uh, I don't like that spot. That spot's too close to the lights, so I'd be I'd be seen. Um, yeah, we'll go up here.
Because the thing is with this Hummel, I can hit the entire map. This is a, a small enough map that you can see my red uh, thing right there on that corner of the K. So as long as they can light them up for me, I can knock them down. Alright, so let's get turned around. Alright, who is our first target? Let's see, not you. That guy's down. This guy's moving towards it. They're gonna fight him off. Okay. Well, plan B. Let's hit this tank destroyer. Eh, except he went unlit. That's gonna be my problem with this thing. It just takes so long to aim down that they're all gonna go unlit. Oh, wait. See, as long as he stays back... Oh, and that's OI. They are notoriously slow. So we'll just get a few things ahead of him and... Oh, he would stop moving. I stunned him. So that's good. Yeah, see, those guys stacking up there would be prime targets. I just can't hit them from that angle. And here comes our 30 second reload. That's gonna be the problem. If we get spotted, we're screwed. But see, the nice thing is we're up so high that we can almost arc stuff down. Man. He's in just the right spot that I can't hit him. And so are these guys. And I can't hit the lights. Yeah, he's too close. These guys are behind something. I'm not sure what. Probably my, the terrain I'm hiding behind. Ooh, the OI has moved. Ah, that's close enough. Ah, yep. That is the one downside of using artillery. You have to kind of gauge... Um... When to fire. It's like, is it shrunk down enough, or do I need to wait a few more seconds? Come on, stay there. Stay there. Seven seconds. Five, four... Three, two, one. Probably right about here. Uh, I probably should aim further back, honestly. Uh, he's got a thing in the way. The thing is, you don't have to hit them directly. There he is. Can I drop something on his head, though? I've got ten seconds left. Go back here. Artillery. Ah, shoot. We hit him. This is going to be our problem is these guys over here. Got seven seconds. Oh, we nailed him. If it does not splash, then you hit them directly. Oh. Okay. How did they spot me? There is no way they should have been spotting me. No way they should have spotted me. That's bull. And they got this other dude firing too. Why hadn't they shot him? 
I'm telling you, there are cheaters on this game. They've got there are mods that allow you to see enemy players all over the entire map, even when they're not spotted. There's mods to shoot through stuff like solid objects. There are auto aiming mods that will auto aim right at the opponent's weak spot every single time as soon as you get your reticle in that general area. It is so frustrating when people use those illegal mods. I mean, granted, I use some mods, but it's nothing game breaking. It's like having the ability to hold control and bring up the mini map so you can see it better. And how I redid my, my little thing in the bottom left to where you can see all your modules. And doesn't take up so much screen. It's a little quality of life things, not things that allow you to shoot over the entire map. So they're down to three. We've got the AMX, which still hadn't been spotted. The IKV and the Hellcat. Hit him. Nice. There we go. All right. He's turning back around. I think the uh, the Hellcat is my next one. So where is that Hellcat? Or do we even have a Hellcat? I don't think we have a Hellcat. Oh, the Nash horn. Going after that Hellcat. Oh, see, yeah, that's the one that I've, I'm going to unlock next. This is Hellcat for the tank destroyers. Nice shot. And see, this this Hellcat, since it's got a movable turret, as long as he's fast enough about getting around, he can get the side. But this Nashhorn is doing a very good job defending. Nice. Very good. That Nash Horn was a good player for sure. All right. Well, that's the end of it. And once again, we're at the bottom of the list again. But hey, we're in artillery. Uh, I was kind of limited because they were hiding mostly behind that one side. Yeah, sure, we'll up that. That's our first win. Um, so we got two hits for a total of, let's see, 282 and... Uh, 164, so a little over 400. Still over four, yeah, a little over 400. Uh, we tracked the IKV and entered his loader, uh, but most importantly, we stunned uh, those three tanks. So yeah, um, oh, we got a ticket for match day, whatever that is. What is a match day? Token is rewarded. Eh, I don't know what that's for. Damage cost. I don't know how we were in the top 10 because we really weren't doing that much damage. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do another round of this thing. See, that, that's the one downside to the Hummel is uh, your how many rounds you've got. Let's go ahead and check out and see if there's any more people watching. Nope, still the two. But nobody wants to chat. All right. Okay. I haven't done this with artillery. I've done this with tank destroyers. So I'm not exactly sure where I need to go. Typically the artillery lines up along the two sides on the, the three line on the one side and the eight line on the other. And then also the uh, the major battle is going to be the heavies up here, uh, the tank destroyers over here, and the medium. Our mediums will typically come across and try to come down this line. 
Uh, apparently, there's only really one spot on this map for us, which is back here. Uh, which there's only one artillery, so that works. Uh, we just have to get far enough back that we're not going to be spotted. Which is basically in the very back corner. The nice thing is with this TD, or not TD, artillery, we have enough range to where we can hit just about everyone. Yeah, see where that E25 is down here? That's another good spot. Um, kind of back here. Ooh. And we hit their E25. There you go. Tracked him for you. Oh, we got a medium moving up here, too. Except he's going to move to the point where, yeah, there's stuff in the way. Good play. And now we are not going to be able to see. See, that guy's good. He moved up into a spot where we can't hit him. Okay, what do we got here? Light. It's going to be too fast. KV. There's a house in the way. House in the way. House in the way. See, once you get to this rank, the players know pretty well where they can sit and not get hit by artillery. Which is quite annoying when you're playing artillery. Um... There we go. It almost took him out. There we go. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Uh, it looked like there was something down here. That's going to be the problem is I can't hit anything here. I can hit along this side. And then I can hit up top. Let's see. This one, the problem is you've got that one. Ooh, he's moved out far enough. Back and reload quick enough. Ah, he had moved. That's the one downside. Ooh, this guy can hit. Well, dang. Is that an auto loader? An A43. We're going to have to check that out. Auto loaders are really good at burst firing. You can take on tanks bigger than they are just because of the amount of damage they can do quickly. I don't think I don't think I can splash him. Okay, let's see. There, there's a KV something over here. This dude... Nope. He's good about staying just outside. Okay, what about this guy? Yeah, see, this building here prevents me from hitting him. Oh. I've got to be ready. If he stays in this general area... Because I've got that splash radius. I just don't think it's enough. I need him to move forward. Just a hair. Ah, I hit the side of the building. Oh! We had... Ah, oh, shoot. There's a rock right there. And I'm not going to be able to tell if he's still sitting in that spot or not. See, it's a questionable shot, because... Do 
Can't hit those. Oh, wait, there he is. There he is. So I can splash him on that side. I feel like I just need to sit here and wait for this guy. Except that SG moved. Oh, he is so dead if he does not move. Ah, overshot. Okay. G3, I think that's right here. Yeah, he saw the close call, so he's not stepping out again. Nice. Okay, we're at 9 to 7. We're doing good. I'm pinging to let them know where I want to try to fire, but I need to know if the guy is there still. Um... There he is. He moved back just a hair. I can probably splash him. Oh, I can definitely splash him. Watch this. Boom! Ah! It overshot just a hair. But this guy. Nope, there's something in the way. Yeah, I can't hit him. We've still got these guys. I think this guy's actually going to be easier to hit. Nice! Alright. Come on, reload. Reload. Oh, good thing I didn't pull the trigger. Um, we can blind fire. The artillery's probably going to be behind this rock. Or behind this rock. Because they're basically doing the exact same thing I was doing. They sit in the very back. Okay, we've got a guy over here. Ah, he's dead. Oh, there's a heavy. Why is there still a heavy all the way back here? Ah, he moved out. Okay, he's dead. What about this guy? Can I hit him? I can if it will aim down enough. Oh, we got we got our uh, our mission. Okay, so we better be ready for the artillery up here, if they don't kill him quick enough. There he is. Nope, dead. Good game, another win. Awesome, and we got our mission. Yay, I actually like this map with artillery. It's a little bit difficult just because of all the buildings. But, like, the grill would have been a little bit better because I probably could have arched up and over buildings better. But, yeah, that one was that one was good. That was a good, that was a good match. I'm not just saying that because we won. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves more experience so we can get the next one. Um, so, yeah, we got a Tier 3 Mastery and a Bruiser, of course. Alrighty. Hold on, my phone just vibrated. Let me check to see what that was. That is a not my problem. Oh, and uh, let me check and see what, how we're doing on time. We're at 50, so um, we can do one more match real quick. And tell you what, let's go ahead and use the bishop. Uh, give you a little bit different taste because um, I think this one it's it really is kind of a hybrid compared to the uh, the other two it's it's closer to a tank destroyer because of its range and I don't know of any way to really increase the shot range so um, we're not gonna go to artillery spots we're gonna go to TD spots mm. Oh, this is going to be fun. 
we're going to be sitting at B2. Can I already tell you right now? B2. This is one of my favorite maps. I love this map. Especially coming from this side. Coming down to the city, you've got uh, overshots on just about everybody. Uh, you got shots down the center. You've got um, shots down the... Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a sniper in uh, this game, so... Um, actually the SU is going over there. I should probably support this side then. Because I'll have shots down that center a little bit. And then along the uh, end of the city. You know me, I'm more about being a team player than I am about what's best for me. So, ooh, ooh. If I can get turned around fast enough. Now the good thing is this thing aims down pretty quick. Where is he at? There he is. Can I hit him? Yes. Except the. Uh... Yeah, see, look how fast that's reloading and how quickly it's aiming down. I don't know if we're gonna get another shot. We are. Ah, we almost got him. Okay. Now we gotta move. That's the one thing with the bishop you have to move around a lot because if you notice my red ring it's only about half the size of the Hummel and the uh, grill it's just a little bit it's in between the max view range and the max radio range um, and since we only have 15 degrees I can't even shoot over rocks sometimes with this thing um, so we're pretty much going to use the heavies as cover and follow them uh, down this line here. You, you're With this tank, you're a lot more active than you would be with a standard tank. Now the problem is other artillery. Um, as you remember on that one map I, we were playing with the grill and I took out the other bishop, or took out that bishop, it was all because he's a lot more visible you have to be closer in and you don't have you got this big honking head of a turret so like and see look I, I still can't even hit those guys even from where I'm at uh, we're gonna move over here into these trees and see if we can get a shot in on this uh, VK 30 so I might be able to the problem is the buildings may be in the way nope they are not fire got him And fire again. See, we're not going to be doing a lot of damage, but we're, what we're going to be doing is damage to their components. Okay, this guy... I don't like him. I really want to take this guy out. Okay. Back to this guy. They'll, they'll take him out. I need to focus on this heavy here. Except now he's in a spot that I can't see him. Now he's not. Ah. RNG. Random number generator. You have so much of a chance to hit stuff. I really want to wait till I can see him. Oh. And there he is. And see, look. Now I overshoot. Uh, most of our guys are getting taken out. That's not good for me. Uh, that's a spot I can't hit. That's a spot I can't hit. Ah, uh, crap. So we can either try to duke it out here with this la- Oh, nope, he's running. But I'm slower than Christmas, so I can't really retreat all that well. So we're going to Leroy Jenkins off this hill. I, I do appreciate that the guy told me to retreat, though. Because if I had been in my uh, 
artillery mode, I would not necessarily have been paying attention to where those guys were. I'm gonna get destroyed. I'm not. I'm not even gonna bother using a thing because I'm so slow. I'm not going to be able to get away and. I mean, he's keeping him at bay pretty well. Nice. And see, I can use this cover here to hit this dude. Now, I am kind of exposed to... Ah, I don't see how that one hit. It, there was like one of the little dots that was at that angle. See, I can't... I can't hit him. We got the panzer moving in, though. Okay, pick him. Oh, nice. Okay, we gotta follow these guys into battle now. See, I like this kind of game where it's back and forth. You know, they took out our heavies and then we had to, you know, fall back, turn around and, and fend them off. Well, reinforcements arrive and now we're moving up to, to hit them. But see, look, see, my, my range is so poor that's going to take me forever to get in range. I'm actually going to move towards the lake, even though it's going to put me in a little bit more vulnerable spot. I'll be able to fire sooner. Okay, so now we're four tanks up. We should have the win here. I'm trying to get up there as fast as I can. Although with my uh, arc... Ah... Yeah, no, they got it. They've got this. I I'm so slow. I need to check if there's a... I think it's the tracks, in which I already have the tracks. I really need to put... Frickin... Uh, what are those things called? A turbocharger. I need a turbocharger on this. Oh, and they got him. GG, everybody. GG. Nice. That was a good game. I loved that game. I'm going to have to save this one for my replays. Uh, I, it was, I don't know. I, I just love those back and forth battles. Seven thirty-nine. Let's see how much damage did we end up doing? We did 43. <laughs> so in other words, we were doing component damage to him. 73. And 47. So yeah. That's the problem with the bishop. You're not going to do a lot of damage. You're more focused on doing those. Uh, tracking them like uh, we were doing here. Um, basically you slow them down. So your other guys can, can take them out. Uh, so yeah. You're never going to be the, the a high score in this. Uh, let's go ahead and get that experience up. And let's check out. I think I've already got the tracks for this thing. And I do. Oh, actually, I've already got the engine. I don't have the radio to get to the FB-403, and I don't have the upgraded... Oh, I didn't even think about the upgraded gun. I was trying to get to the next rank up, because that one really doesn't cost all that much at 31000 Um, Oh, I really need to upgrade this gun then. Shell speed's down. Oh, it's a howitzer. That's why. I love howitzers. That's that's what I have on my Wolverine. Uh, module damage. Penetration goes up just a hair. Gun loading. It's slower. Still, 13 seconds isn't bad. But it's down like two full rounds per minute. But does more damage overall. 
burst radius is higher. Uh, yeah, see, that's the thing. This thing also doesn't have a very good burst. You pretty much have to hit them straight on to do much. Dispersion is higher. Aiming time is the same, though. Yeah, we definitely need to get that next one up. And I don't want to use um, free experience. I want to use my combat. So we'll just do a few more rounds to get that one. But uh, this is probably a good stopping point. Uh, thank you for joining my stream. This is Mirrored in Gaming. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe over on YouTube if you're watching me there. And then follow me on Twitch. I do streams uh, between 4.30 and 5, uh, depending on my work schedule, uh, my normal day job. Um, I do my, I'll do my streams from around 4.30 to 5.30, um, or sometimes I start at 5.00 and even 5.30 if I'm swamped with something or working on a project that I can't get away from. Um, but yeah, and then I also uh, do a little bit of Minecraft. We have two series going on. We have the new uh, Season 2 of the Elsewhere Realm coming up this Monday. All of us content creators are going to have new uh, content coming out that same day. Um, there's like seven or eight of us, um, but we're all dropping the Episode 1 uh, starting Monday the 21st. Um, we are also going to be... Um, I also have a single-player world where we're building Himeji Castle and the surrounding fortress area and the courtyards and the little city that surrounds it. Um, on Those come out on Tuesdays. Uh, and then, sadly, next week I'm not going to be streaming Thursday. Uh, today is actually my birthday. And I'm taking next Thursday off to go hang out with some friends. So... You won't see me on next Thursday, but I will be on Wednesday, um, probably redoing another uh, stream that uh, until the whole problem was initially I didn't realize how much of a graphics hog this game is. So uh, the first few streams, like the light tank stream, the heavy tank or the light tank, tank destroyer, and the artillery uh, streams are pretty much unwatchable because uh, it would just skip around. Like you could hear my voice talking perfectly fine, but the graphics, the stream was not great. So I'll be redoing those two uh, pretty soon, especially since now I've got a few more tanks to play around with. And then I'll also be doing kind of tank showcase streams in the next several weeks uh, as I unlock new stuff. But anyway, it's Marina Gaming and I'll see you on the battlefield.